speaking of last week, you've yeah. been completely AWOL. What happened last week, Ed? And we couldn't oh, get you online. Man. So what, what happened? <laughs> yeah, last week was a, was a, that was an interesting race. So I, uh, I had planned to do two different races. I was planning to do the 72-hour and then stop when they started the 100-mile race, do the 100-mile race, and then finish that and go back and finish up miles in the 72 hour. My goal was to try and get two separate hundreds. And uh, I got through day one, 85 miles, which is good. I was good with that. And then uh, took off that 72 mile bib and put on the, the bib for the hundred. So there's actually people right now, it's kind of the opposite. The hundred mile race here started at 10, 11, and the 24-hour race starts at 4.11, and they both end tomorrow at 4.11 p.m. So uh, we've got people that are, I guess, six or seven different people that are already out here doing the 100. So uh, anyway, I had a really bad day on day two. I mean, really bad. My adrenal fatigue kicked in pretty severely. Uh, I was power walking, but I was pushing my pace probably harder than I should have. And I had a really uh, severe episode, and I actually went off course. There's a little area on the course where uh, there's some residential area and there's a sidewalk. I went up on the sidewalk, and I just laid down on the sidewalk. It was uh, already dark, and it was you know, the sidewalk was nice and cool. And I just laid on that hard concrete for about yeah. a half hour. Just I didn't want to lay down in the A station area. Just too many people, you know. I just yeah. didn't want to have people asking me, "Hey, Ed, what's going on?" So I just laid there and just uh, gave my body a chance to reset. And, uh, you know, I've had some issues with my adrenal fatigue uh, in the past, and uh, it flared up pretty bad. And I was thinking, you know, I don't know if I want to keep going. I'd already gotten over 100, so I was like, well, I got my 100 in. And my buddy, Justin Turnbow, who had uh, picked me up from the airport, I stayed at, at his house. He was doing the 100-mile race, and he was having some heat struggles really badly. And uh, so he had told me he was thinking he might go home. Uh, so I got up, went around the rest of the loop real slow, got to his little setup where he had his own little aid station next to his car, and he was gone. And I talked to the yeah. next to him, and they said, oh, he left about a minute or two ago. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, well, there's still, there's still time. So I was going to go get my phone and give him a call. And I got up to the aid station where my phone was and decided, I don't know, let me, let me try one more loop. And I did. And as you know, how these things go, things just started getting better. And of course it cooled down and, and uh, yeah. I was going real slow. I was probably doing 20, 22 minute miles, but even at that, those add up and, uh, yeah. Long, long story short, I stayed in it. I, I ended up just sticking with the 72 hour and I won. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I saw, I, I knew that part, but yeah, like I said, we, you kind of got back and been, we couldn't talk on, we were at the, amazingly at the Phoenix airport. Phoenix is one of the largest cities in the country and the internet is terrible in that airport. Maybe because there's so many people trying to get it and they don't have towers or whatever. So didn't really get to hear what's going on. My thoughts on that when after you told me, I didn't know that you were actually having a bad race. I was actually thought, hey, maybe you had some common sense. <laughs> and uh, I was hoping well, maybe you, you know, realized. You know what? I yes. did have some common sense. I had, I had an epiphany. You know what my epiphany was? What's that? Quality is better than quantity for now. There'll be a, I'm, no, I, I have plenty of time to get yeah. the, the quantity, you know, I can, I can keep doing hundreds till I'm 70 yes. and at some yes. point I will not mm -hmm. be in a, a situation where I can win them. But you know what? Yes. If I can still win races, I got to focus on trying to get the win. Yes. So yes. Uh, that's, that's, that's been in the back of my head and I've, and I've spoken to you about that before. And so, yeah, it's kind of like, you know, when you got a chance to win races, definitely you got to win them. And you've got plenty of quantity and you're going to get to that 200 and you may surpass that the English lady eventually because she is a lot older than you. So as long as you stay upright and, and you can keep moving forward, 
and not do crazy, crazy things. But the other thing I thought about, Ed, too, that I kind of want to talk to you about was that, you know, sticking with one race is a better idea because it allows you to focus, but also then you're not having to put the race directors and your fellow competitors in positions to try to figure out what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. you know, they have a hard, they have a hard enough time. And so when you come to a race director and say, you know, and you're a nice guy and they want to help you, but they're like, okay, I want to do this. And I want to do that. It'd be much better. You just come and say, you know, and you're always going to do the longest things. So you're going to come and say, I'm doing the 72 and that's what you're doing. And then the race director doesn't have to, and you know, you've had issues in the past where you thought something was one way and then it wasn't. Whereas, you know, it's the old thing, keep it simple, you know, keep it simple, <laughs> you know, stupid, kiss it. And yeah. so I think, you know, instead of trying to do these, you know, I mean, even like, and you know, and I've been begging you and I, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, I've been begging you to try and get 506 days. And so instead of trying to get, you know, 300 finishes in that six days, you know, you're talking about doing like a 24 or 48 and a 72, get that, get a, get another six day win because, you know, the 24 hour is really a sprint for you. And especially now that you got a little bit older, you're, you're not going to win as many of those, but the 48 and 72, Hey you now, keep them. hold on, hold on there. No, I, I no. hear you though. You're right. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, you're right. Well, you're, yeah, you're not. You're, you're not. You used to rack up 130, 140 miles in these things. That is true. And and, is and true. your days of doing that, I don't know. It's just like me. I can't get arrested on a 24, 48. I podium. 72. Yeah. I don't. You know. So I mean, it's like there's a sweet spot of. And so I'm just, you know, we're we're always talking these things. I'm just kind of like completely off the cuff, and just that's just my thoughts of. You know, I was really glad to hear that you just did the 70, just did 70, that you did the 72 and then try and double dip. And I think for everybody involved, it's a, it's a win-win. It's good for you, but it's good for the race. It's good for your fellow competitors, you know, because then they're not wondering what in the world you're doing or, and, and it's also like, I, I've told you many times that um, you can make people happy. You can make them sad. You, you can make them angry, but confusing them is the one thing you don't want to do. And, you know, the comedians say that, you know, like when you're up on stage, you don't want to confuse the audience because people don't like to be confused. They don't mind to be mad or you know, throw things at you or laugh at you. But when they're like, huh? And so like I, I was telling my, well, I was talking to Adam, he's going to come up and do the hundred next weekend. And I said to Adam, oh, cool. I, you know, I explained to him what you were doing last week. And then, and, and then I said, yeah. And, then, and I go, that's kind of the problem when you've got to spend a bunch of time explaining it. And Adam goes, you just told me for a minute or two what Ed was doing. And I still don't understand. <laughs> and Adam's part yeah. of the sport. So, so like I said, yeah. that's just my, just my observation. I'm glad that you did that. And hopefully it'll be something in the future you'll consider to continue doing where instead of trying to do a race within a race and that kind of thing. So, you know, it yeah, just makes it I, simpler, I, I think. I'm, I'm going to yeah, do that because you know what? There's nothing quite as sweet as a win. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, and even though – this one was number 52. Uh, they don't get old. Let me tell you, they do not no. get old. And uh, I want to still get as many as I can. If I can, yeah. if I can hit 62, then I'll, I'll, I'll be tied with uh, Giannis. He's the only one that has more, more wins than me in the world. But, you know, his wins are a lot different than my wins. But still, I'll, I'll take it. But, uh, so that's the goal is to, to get up there. And uh, so, yeah, it that's was good. It was to, a good, yeah, good. Gives me something to shoot for, but it ended up being a good race after all. So 